welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking Iron Man and the top five Iron Man comics that I'd want in my collection. But before we get started in this video, like always guys, I'm gonna ask you if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor, click that subscribe button for me, you will not regret it. Smash that like button and turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know when I post new videos. One other announcement, as always, if you haven't checked out my website, MightyCollects.com, I've always interest in buying collections, selling you guys books if you're interested in any of the ones that are on there, and of course, just chatting with members of the community. But with that said, we're talking Iron Man, and we're talking one of the greatest superheroes of all time. As you can see, I own a Tales of Suspense 39, and this is one of two copies I actually have in my collection. Uh, and you know what's going to come number one on this list. That's right. I always start at number one on these lists. It is a copy of Tales of Suspense number 39 and the first appearance of Tony Stark and Iron Man and a CGC 2.0. Just sold last month for eight thousand one hundred and five bucks, which to me I still think is a steal. Now you could have went back maybe fifteen to twenty years ago and maybe paid a third of the price for this book. Right now, I still think it's a great deal to be able to get a two point oh for around eight thousand dollars. Now the raw copy I just showed you guys, I picked up off of eBay for a hell of a lot cheaper than that. I always talk about raw books. I always talk about right now. That's really what I'm buying. I'm staying away from slabs for the most part, especially with everything going on with the grading companies, um, the lead times, losing packages, mistakes being made. I feel a lot more comfortable buying from reputable sellers raw books that I can later on, if I wanted to, go ahead later on down the line and slab them. But either way, we're talking about Telesense 39. How could this not be number one on the list? It's the first appearance. It is a classic cover. It is he lives, he walks, he conquers in the classic silver suit or whatever you want to call this thing, gray suit. We saw him in Iron Man 1. To this day, this is one of my favorite MCU movies, if not my favorite. It started it all. It was a great origin story retold, even though they did change some stuff. I'm going to announce something right now. Tomorrow on this channel, I am releasing comic book spotlight. Tales of Suspense 39. So if you guys are interested in those things and finding out some interesting things about Tony Stark and Iron Man, make sure you watch that video. At number two on this list is a copy of Iron Man number one and the origin and first appearance of Iron Man in his own solo title and a CGC 4.0 just sold this month for only 552 bucks, which to me, I think is an absolute steal. Every time I talk about this book, if you guys have been watching my channel, say, I don't understand how this great Silver Age key is so inexpensive, especially at mid to higher grade. I mean, for a 4.0, a very good copy for 500 bucks, that is a steal to me all day long. There are not a lot of Iron Man books out there that are worth a ton of money. I know when I did the Hulk list, I kind of said the same thing. This one, it really applies. I can't believe how inexpensive some of these major keys are related to Iron Man. At number three on this list is a copy of Tales of Suspense number 48 and the first appearance of Iron Man's classic red and yellow armor in a CGC 4.5 just sold this month for only $252. I remember owning this book way back in the past when I first started getting back into collecting comics. I was so proud to own that issue. Unfortunately, later on, I had to go ahead and sell that book to put that money towards something bigger in my collection. But either way, this is a major, major key that nobody talks about. Iron Man's first yellow and red costume. It is iconic, especially now that he's done it in multiple versions, multiple models in the MCU. This is the first red and yellow costume that he portrayed in the comics. It is a major key. Like I said, it has to be on this list. At number four on this list is a copy of Tales of Suspense number 40 and the second appearance of Iron Man. But this is also the debut of Model 1 Armor, the all gold edition and a CGC. 4.0 just sold last month for only 900 bucks which to me I actually think is a really good price if we're going to compare the first appearance and the second appearance i know 8100 for a 2.0 will probably bring it down to about a 450 dollar books in a 2.0 for this one i actually think that's a good price for the second appearance of a major superhero like iron man 
at that price, I'd be a buyer all day. But I had to include it at number four on this list because I do think that Yellow Gold Armor is a step in Iron Man's development. It has to be on that list. It's an important book and it is a second appearance. So I had to include it on this one. At number five on this list is a book that I also had to put on here. It is a copy of Iron Man number 128 in this iconic cover by Bob Layton and the classic storyline, Demon in a Bottle. Now, I believe this was a multiple part story. This is not only the issue of this storyline. Either way, CGC 9.8 just sold this month for 1,133 bucks, which to me is a lot of money. I would never buy a 9.8 copy of this book because it is way too much money to spend. However, you can go out and get a very fine copy for a really, really cheap price. I just think if you're a staunch Iron Man fan, this is one of those storylines you have to own. Classic cover to boot, definitely a book I want in my collection. Now that's it for the top five, but I did come up with a few honorable mentions that I wanted to include on this list because I absolutely love the storylines and I love the iconic covers. First is Tales of Suspense number 58 in this classic Captain America and Iron Man battle. We got to see in Civil War, of course, Iron Man and Captain America go at it. And this is probably one of the first battles you saw from the Silver Age where they go at it in the books. The other honorable mention I wanted to throw out there is none other than Iron Man number 55 and the first appearance of Thanos. But this is also the first appearance of Drax and Thanos' brother, Eros, which has been hinted at the end of the Eternals. With that said, a major first appearance in Thanos in an Iron Man book, I had to include this one, and it has recently gone up in price over the past couple of years. We got this major bump in this book once we knew that Thanos was coming to the MCU, then it kind of leveled off for a while after the whole Infinity War saga, you know, kind of passes on, and now it's starting to creep up again. I'm only thinking because of Eros being hinted at coming more to the MCU. But either way, I had to include this book on this list because it's just too important of an Iron Man book not to be on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this list. It was a fun one to make. I am a huge Iron Man fan, although not a big a fan as I am some of the other Marvel characters out there. But it's fun trying to find these books that I want in my collections. I have owned most of these books in the past. Unfortunately, some of them I do not own any longer. But either way, books that I definitely would keep if I'm a long-term collector, which I am. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics the Collectible saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.